Welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial, we're going to figure out how to make something look like glass. So uh, in the render view here, you can see I have this white plane here, which is uh, opaque and it's white. We want to convert this to sort of a glass-like material. The sphere has some sort of crazy mossy texture and then the plane in the background is just all flat, sort of gray. Uh, if I minimize this, what the scene looks like here. Uh, so there's a couple things you need to change in order to get this to work. So the first thing is in the render settings, click on the render settings tab and mine is popping up in the other window here. So I'm going to try and find it here. Looks like that is the render view, not that one, but so let's see. There we go, render settings. And uh, in the render settings by default under common, uh, I've changed this to a PNG file and uh, made it a 1K image render. Under the system, I've cranked up the initial sampling to three. This is by default set to negative three. And then in the Arnold renderer, all these are the default settings. But what I want to do is increase the uh, refraction up to four samples. Uh, refraction is going to basically determine uh, more light bounce, and that's going to give you a more realistic look for glass. You can really crank up this value. Um, it says right here, 36 max 45 samples which would be an incredibly long render. I'm going to leave it at four just so that we get a little bit of taste but not go too crazy with it. The next thing we're going to do is actually change the material on here and make it look like glass. So under the Windows menu, you can go down to, uh, let's see, the rendering enters and choose the hypershade. And I actually have it open already. And um, to find a, a, a standard material to work for the Arnold renderer, Go down to the Arnold render here and there's shaders and the one I chose is the AI standard so you just click on it and voila you've made one. To uh, assign it all you gotta do is select the object and then right click go to assign material to selection at the top here. I've already done that I've assigned number four here to this uh, form so we don't really need this open. I'm going to close it. So select the object again in your attribute editor if you don't see it you can click on attribute editor here you can go all the way over to the AI standard tab again they have these different tabs here and down here is where we're going to change some of the attributes so to make this look like glass the first thing we're going to do is change the diffuse uh, weight right now it's set to 0.7 which is a fairly opaque weight so if we drop this all the way to zero we're going to have sort of a transparent weight with the diffuse um, then we're going to go down to the specular input so again, I'm just looking for the spec. If it's closed, just click on the little arrow here. And the weight, we're going to crank all the way up to 1. And notice the preview here. We get a little preview of what's happening there. The next area we're going to go down is to the refraction area. So not reflection, which we can adjust some things here if we want. Um, but we really want to go down to refraction. So in the refraction category here, um, the first thing we want to do is give it a weight of 1. So drag that to one. The next thing we want to do is check this little box, uh, which is Fresno uh, Use IOR, which stands for Index of Refraction. And then in here, the IOR, we can change the input to 1.5, which is typically uh, glass. And um, at that point, we're pretty much set up. Now you can adjust the transmittance and get sort of a different quality in terms of the glossiness of the light. I may reduce this a little bit, but um, basically at this point we're ready to render. So I'm going to click the render tab. This may take a, a little bit, so I'm going to pause while it renders here. All right, so here it is. You can see now that you can see, clearly see through the glass. Um, so that's just a, a basic, again, 1.5 for the setting there. Now if I change the light or move the object closer, um, you know, uh, increase that refraction uh, level amount, we can get slightly different effects, but this is a basic sort of glass look. So um, the other thing you can change on here is the ref diffuse color has a weight of zero, but the uh, spec color has, has a weight of, are, are the color's white, and the reflection is, uh, or not white, reflection, the refraction's white. So we could reduce these amounts and get more of sort of a transparent quality. So the, the um, uh, let's see, the refraction and the spec we can reduce. And so I'll pause while I do one more render. We'll see how that looks. So here you can see the difference. It's definitely more transparent, uh, translucent. 
versus the uh, sort of stark white of the last render. And again, that's just dropping the refraction and, and spec color a little bit. You can see here I dragged the spec down a little bit and the refraction. Actually, I didn't drop the refraction at all. I thought, I, or no, wait, that's reflection. Refraction here, I did drop it. Uh, it's more gray color just by dragging this little slider here. So you can have fun kind of experimenting between those two and determine, you know, how much of that color you need for your glass. So that's the basic overview of how to create a glass material in uh, Autodesk Maya. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Until next time, cheers.